Today I'm going to show you how I made this bear for my woodland afghan. The free pattern is linked below if you want to follow along with that. So for the bear in my blanket, I used Loops and Threads Impeccable and Dark Chocolate. It's a worsted weighted yarn. But for tutorial purposes, I'm going to be using this gray yarn. It's also worsted weight, but it shows up a lot better in camera. And I'm also using this G 4.0 millimeter hook. So to start, we're going to make a slip knot and chain 14. If you're following along in the pattern, this is row 1. Once you have your 14 chains, you're going to half double crochet into the second chain from the hook and continue to half double crochet all the way across. And this is row two in the pattern. So once you get to the end of the row, you should have 13 half double crochets. Next, we're going to chain up one, turn your work, and half double crochet across again. This is row three in the pattern. So this is uh, fairly simple. It's just half double crochet all the way across for the body of the bear. And once you get to the end, just make sure you have 13 across again and chain one, turn your work, and half double crochet across. This is row four if you're following the pattern. And once you've completed that row, that makes up the body of the bear. Next, we'll be working on the legs. So chain up one, turn your work, and single crochet into the next three stitches to start the back legs of the bear. Chain up one, turn your work, and single crochet across three times for the second row. Chain up one, turn your work, single crochet across for row three. Chain up one, turn your work, and row four will also be single crochets across three times. For the fifth row, we're going to chain up one, single crochet three times. chain two and make a double crochet into that same space where you did that last single crochet. So if you turn this you'll see the, that is the inside of the leg and we will be slip stitching back up to the body. And the last slip stitch will be in the same space where you did the third single crochet in that first row. So there we have our back legs for the bear. So we're going to continue working across. We're going to do a slip stitch, three single crochets, and one more slip stitch. And then we're going to start working on one of the front legs by doing two single crochets in the next two stitches. Chain one, turn your work. And this will be row two of one of the front legs, so single crochet two times across. Chain up one, single crochet across for the third row. 
chain up one, turn your work, and single crochet across again for the fourth row. And then for the fifth row, chain up one, turn your work, single crochet in the next two spaces. Chain up two, and we're going to double crochet into that same space where the last single crochet in that row was. Now you're going to single crochet into the next space going up the leg, and then go ahead and slip stitch back up to the main body. So to make the final leg in the front, we're going to single crochet three times across. That Those should be the last uh, spaces on the main body. Chain up one, turn your work. For the second row, we're going to single crochet two times across. Chain up one, turn your work. And single crochet across two times. This will be the third row of the front leg. Chain up one, turn your work, crochet across two times. For the fourth row, for the fifth row, chain up one, turn your work, single crochet two times. Chain up two, and then we're going to double crochet into that same space where that last single crochet was. Working around, we're going to do a single crochet up the front of the leg, and then we're going to do slip stitches until there's four spaces left that we want to keep open, and that is where we're going to make the head. So to make the head, we're going to chain up one and single crochet four times. Chain up one for the second row of the head, turn your work, and single crochet four times. Chain up one, turn your work, and single crochet across for the third row. Chain up one, single crochet across for the fourth row as well. For row five, we're going to start by chaining up two. Turn your work, do one double crochet, a single crochet, and another single crochet and then in the last space we're going to do two single crochets in that same space. And now you'll start to see that the bear is coming together, he has his legs and his snout is starting to form and his head. So now we're going to start to work on the top portion of the bear. We're going to start by single crocheting, chaining up three, and single crocheting back into that same space, and that will make the ear. Slip stitch twice, and that should take you back to the main part of the body. And you'll see his head start to form. Slip stitch two times. single crochet into the next three stitches. And then we're going to do five slip stitches. And then in the next stitch we're going to do a single crochet and in the next we're going to do a half double crochet And in the last space, we're going to work three double crochets all into that one space.
and that makes the top of the bear. So we're going to keep working all the way down the back side to complete the bear. We're going to do a double crochet and then a half double crochet single crochet into the next three stitches and then we're just going to slip stitch all the way down to the bottom of his foot then you can fasten off and that completes your bear So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more crochet tutorials.